I profoundly regret the decision that this House has taken tonight. I continue to believe that by far the best outcome is that the United Kingdom leaves the European Union in an orderly fashion with a deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that the deal we've negotiated is the best and indeed the only deal available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mr Speaker, I would like to set out briefly how the government means to proceed. Two weeks ago I made a series of commitments from this dispatch box regarding the steps we would take in the event that this House rejected the deal on offer. I stand by those commitments in full. Therefore, tonight we will table a motion for debate tomorrow to test whether the House supports leaving the European Union without a deal on the 29th of March. The Leader of the House will shortly make an emergency business statement confirming the change to tomorrow's business. This is an issue of grave importance for the future of our country. Just like the referendum, there are strongly held and equally legitimate views on both sides. For that reason, I can confirm that this will be a free vote on this side of the House. I, <clears throat> and I have personally struggled with this choice, as I'm sure many other honourable members will. I'm passionate about delivering the result of the referendum, but I equally passionately believe that the best way to do that is to leave in an orderly way with a deal. Yeah. And I still believe that there is a majority in the House for that course of action. And I'm conscious also and I'm conscious also of my duties as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of the potential damage to the Union that leaving without a deal could do when one part of our country is without devolved governance. Yeah.